My name is Anne-Marie La Bonté. I live in Red Lake, uh, Ontario. I wasn't born here, but I've been here since <coughs> 1967. And uh, I've been in Red Lake since 67. I just love the little place. I'm not a, 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 a big city person. I love my little town. And yeah, it's gorgeous. I love it. I sing in the choir. I mean, I lead the congregation when I don't have a choir. If I come on in church that there's no choir, there's no organist. I try to participate in everything that's going on in the church. I try to do my best. I wanted to do more. I had the desire to become like a deaconess for a long time, but I didn't know how to go about it. And I think now, at my age, I'm forgetful, so I don't think I can do it, but I wanted to do that for the longest time. Could have been a call, it could be my call, but at the same time, when you're in a small town, nobody advises you, you don't know where to go, you don't know who to ask, so there I am. Oh, I love God so much. He has done so many miracles to me, you wouldn't believe. One after another, I've gone through hell and back, and God was there for me. He's always there for me. But I tell you, I don't think not too many people I, I, I uh, experience all the good things that Jesus did to me. I had cancer of my breast. I'm healed. It didn't come back after seven years, going on 18, 18, uh, eight years. And I thank Jesus every day for that. And uh, he is on the top of my list. Every time I go somewhere, God is in my mind. I lose the key. First thing I say, Jesus, help me find my key. I find it just like that. Those are little mini things. I'm talking about between little things and big things. I have a lot to praise God and to praise Jesus. I don't have enough words to express my, my, uh, my love to Jesus. My faith is important to me because of what happened to me in the past. And uh, I know Jesus is there for me. I was brought up in the church when I was, uh, when I was little, little all my life, but it wasn't uh, a faith that uh, you really depend on. It was more like uh, you go because you have to go or because you used to go to church. It's not something that you count on, but that has changed. Now I count on my faith. And I, I have to admit, sometimes I go dry. It takes a period of time that I don't want to see Jesus. I don't want to hear from God. But then all of a sudden, something happened in my life. A person happened in my life. The priest happened in my life. Or a phone call or whatever. And he brings me back to my faith. And then I thank God again. Because again, there is another miracle. Or I could have fallen apart. Practice love in my daily life. <coughs> well, I try to be good to everybody. If I uh, misjudge somebody or if I hurt somebody, uh, I'll go to them and apologize. The, if they receive my apology, that's fine. If they don't, I know I did my part. I did my apology. And I always ask Jesus to help me to do the right thing and to go uh, walk on the right path. I love my family. I love my neighbor. So often they ignore me, but I'm the first one to go and say good morning and have a good day. And by then they respond to me. And uh, when I see people in the street, I try to help them. A couple of times people was lying down because they had a little bit to drink. So I call the ambulance for them. There's no race for me. Everybody, I love everybody. Everybody is the same to me.